Hi guys, I'm Nagda Chan and welcome to my reaction for Boruto episode 32. So this is supposed to be the ending episode of the arc and next two episodes are kind of like uh, fillers and then the next arc starts. Uh, I really like this arc, it was very intriguing, there were really cool characters, I really liked Kagura. I can understand like the the kind of conflicts between the people and uh, all of this kind of stuff makes sense. There were some really cool moments, uh, pretty nice uh, choreography in the fights. Yeah, <laughs> I really like Kagura, I want to see him again. But I guess I'm going to start this episode right now. Like, what is this going to be about? Oh, it looks different! Kind of like from Pokemon game, but I like it. Oh, they are going home. Please visit again, that's so cute. How so? Oh my god, she was buying so much stuff. I need some like good stuff, souvenirs. Yeah, he probably has a lot of work to do right now. Well... Kind of both. Damn, this is truly like a freaking Pokemon game. <laughs> oh, he's watching. And he still probably just feels a little weird about his stuff. <laughs> So they are going home. Okay. So what is this episode going to be about? Oh, that's a little bit too much. Okay, I guess I'm going to see in a second. The quest for souvenirs. Oh. Oh, didn't he say like he's going to buy something for her for his sister? I think he did say something like that. Does he have anything? Me, you can say yes. Oh, he did buy something. I forgot if he did. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> so he did not buy anything? I guess, I mean, he had quite a... A lot of stuff to do. Yeah, that's just special power. <laughs> oh, she seems so sad over it. I mean, she's a little child and she was so excited. He promised her some kind of present. I completely forgot, right? Yeah, he's talking about Kagura a lot. Dude, chill with it. I guess he was cool, I like him too. There is probably a lot of stuff to be doing. To be done. Okay. <laughs> She's like, why me? <laughs> I didn't do anything. You seriously think nobody from that village won't tell any? One hero? I feel like she would. Or Chojura would. I 
Uh, we don't know you. Who are you? I have nothing to do with you. I'm sorry. Sarada looks like, why did I even let you speak? Why? <laughs> Why do I have a feeling they already know? <laughs> yeah, nothing like that happened. We don't know anything. I was thinking they probably sent some message. What did you thought, kids? <laughs> they wouldn't be speaking about it at all. <laughs> he was worried about you. And like, it would be weird if they would not be talking about that. Like, come on. Makes sense. Come on, guys. It makes sense that he would probably send some kind of message. Okay. They weren't interested in that. Can we, like, please go away from this place? It's creepy. <laughs> Especially those weird things in those tubes. Creepy. Or actually, why are you always so creepy? Of course. Eyes would be centered around that place, am I right? I mean, he's heavily watched over, right, Orochimaru? If there would be some trouble somewhere else, People would be focused on that. Yeah, they just can't talk about it. But I, I think he's protecting Kagura. Also, not only that there won't be like problems, but because Kagura. Yeah, the little kid sticking his nose, yeah. <laughs> Where it doesn't belong. Right? What are you playing here? Oh, training? Mm. That's part of a growth, if we are realizing that. Yeah, Bertha is your friend. But it's about himself. Is she going to tell him? <laughs> You're like, bro. Yeah, you promised. <laughs> Come on. Obviously, she wants something. Yeah, you promised her something, girl, dude.
Yeah. She was waiting for it so much. And you forgot. She's a little kid, so of course she's going to be so down about it. She's way younger than him. Yeah, at least apologize, right? Dude, you're supposed to remember yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to awaken that beast, please. It's nice that, like, Hinata was kind of waiting if Berto would realize it on his own, but they kind of did not. So she decided to help him. Ah, uh, you know, I, I don't know if that will happen. Maybe you should have been honest and say, I, I don't have anything. Hmm. Thank you, Hinata. Nope. <laughs> don't break father to this, mother. Don't even think about it. <laughs> oh my god, Berta. So like, I mean, I'm sure others probably have some souvenirs, but like, the food you promised, maybe they already ate it. <laughs> that makes sense. They are kids, they probably already eat them. Yeah, ate them. Yeah, why would you? You should, you should have said that you are going to bring some food so someone might have something. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, she probably ate it a long time ago. Oh, Boruto, come on, you should have tell, told your sister that you didn't bring anything, so you are going to buy her something extra. You know, like, bring her some apologetic candy or something. I promised and forgot. Yeah, so you lied. I mean, yeah, he was asking around a lot. <laughs> oh, really? What kind of condition is that? Why do you care so much? Sketch looking. Oh. Probably. What is going on here, Sarada? <laughs> this is kind of sus. Okay. Is this even legal? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. This looks cool. Look at that. What a cool looking shop. Yeah, they for sure are weird. Don't touch stuff. Yeah, don't touch stuff. <laughs> Then buy it and stop 
looking at it. How much does it cost though? Ouchie. Okay. Need lady. Ouchie. Okay. Chill, Boruto. Come on, Boruto. This is a shop. She can, like, not sell it to you at all <laughs> if this is her shop. <laughs> She's like, get out of here. What is this lady? Stop harassing this lady. Yeah, stop harassing the lady. Poor woman. Mm. Oh my god, she's interested in that. A lady likes gambling. Okay. The lady has standards. I like it, like, I won't sell my stuff to people I don't like, so get out of here. <laughs> it hurts when you are getting smacked by that, trust me. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> oh. I mean, he can see and not play by the rules. Cheat. Yep, lady. Yep. <laughs> and move somewhere else. <laughs> she likes you. <laughs> She like what you done. She's she's just kind of like Tsundere Bachan. <laughs> she's Tsundere Bachan. She likes you. What a lady. So where does Sarada comes to this? <laughs> How does she know the lady? <laughs> Maybe you should have been honest and tell Himavari that you actually did not buy it there, then you forgot. Letter for him. Okay. Yeah, he probably did a lot of thinking and then decided to write him something. Yeah, why not? Yeah, he did a lot of thinking and self-reflection. 
Let's go. Oh, I'm excited. I mean, it was a big deal for him. <laughs> Everyone loved the card game. Yeah. So maybe you should have apologized to him over it too. Yeah, be honest. Okay. <laughs> so hard for him. She's so cute and so happy, right? Yeah, what a nice ending too. Is there something else or just like what is going to be nice? Okay, something what is going to be happening next. Oh my god, stop! Jesus. Okay, I like this like um last episode of the arc where we got like few things like a decision of Okagura and like uh, how he was thinking about all of what happened and how he wants to go about the future yeah and it like completely made sense that Chajura would probably send a letter <laughs> to someone about what happened right? <laughs> they were so surprised like come on guys come on he's adult so he even like everything was resulted good he needs to like tell someone about this right? That there might have been some conflict because eventually someone might have find out, right? So that would probably want to be good for them, but like because they sent a letter, it helped. Even though they still kind of get punished because like, yeah, probably should not stick their noses into stuff like this. Even though Boruto helped, I, I think he's sticking his nose too much into stuff, yeah. Then Orochimaru is kind of sneaking around, which I mean, I'm not surprised he's doing his own game. Yeah, because he sent Suigetsu, but also it seemed like he knew about what Mitsuki did. So what is Orochimaru playing here? What is he doing? Right? It's like he's testing Mitsuki or something. Weird, but I guess we'll see in the future. I hope. <laughs> I mean, Orochimur is sus all the time, and I like him. He's my like most favorite character after Uchiha's, <laughs> and I can wait for like some. Ar I hope there would be like arc focus on him more. I hope so, because he was also mentioning like he's gonna stuck in one place, right? Because he kinda cannot do much obvious stuff when he's watched over so much and like if things somewhere else gets riled up the eyes of the people would be looking there so he might get away with more things yeah i would not be surprised i would not be surprised <laughs> it's all right Chimuru is always doing something some side projects right always always he might be a little nicer this time, but it, it's just his nature. He cannot help himself. <laughs> he cannot help himself. That's it. So that was interesting. And like Boruto kind of realizing that he probably should have apologized to Himavari instead of lying to her. So I hope he actually did all of that and maybe even told her that uh, what was the story behind all of this. Who knows? But like, yeah, he, he should be honest, especially to his little sister, right? He could have told her that like, he kind of forgot 
because of what was happening, but he's going to like buy her something else or you know like compensate for it. He would. And that he's like really really sorry. I think she would understand instead of like, you know, lying. <laughs> She smiled shots, of course, that's why she was kind of like so sad about it. So this should be the end of the Mist arc. I, I, like I said, that one was pretty good. And apparently we we probably are going to meet Kagura again, because he said he's uh, going to visit. I can wait for that. I do really like him. He's really cool. His character arc was amazing. And like everything about it was so undesirable, right? Yeah. And I really like the shop lady in this. <laughs> Sundere shop lady. <laughs> He's like, if I don't like you, I'm not going to let you buy stuff. Get out of here. <laughs> Why Sarada had a problem with this? What is going on there? Like, why she was so worried? about someone knowing what how like how she knows this lady what why i don't understand maybe like it would bring down her image that she's like going buying stuff in this like weird shady shop or whatever i don't know i, I don't understand that what was sarada's problem but okay she's shopping there sometimes i guess what though well, why is she going there? For what kind of things? We'll see, I guess, sometime, probably. Yeah, so I'm going to give this episode 7 out of a 10. And I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.